Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you this uh, fire alarm. Why is it raining? Fire alarm system that I made. <clears throat> First, I am going to show you uh, the control panel for it. You've got a light here that tells you that the alarm system is not ready. Um, when that light is flashing, that means a fire has been reported, and then an alarm ready. The alarm is currently not ready. <clears throat> the whole alarm system is meant for um, is not meant for a normal Minecraft house. It's mostly meant for bigger modern houses for the uh, roleplay server. You do have to connect the system to a power grid. If you're in the roleplay server, most likely you're connected to a windmill. You can also be, I'm not, I didn't build the whole factory, but you can also be connected to a factory system or a solar panel farm or a personal solar battery. <clears throat> Make sure to not connect a too powerful system to it or you might overload it. I will show you an inside view and then an outside. So first, you want to, to activate it, you need to make sure that the system is ready, but it's not. All you got to do to ready the system is plus this. You will hear a few beeps, and then the this alarm will t this light will turn off, I'm sorry. And then it will say that it's ready, and then this light will turn on. So when it's flashing, that means a t uh, fire has been reported in the building. <clears throat> to activate the alarm, you will have to go back to whenever there's a pull station at and pull it then you can hear it beeping on the sides it also has flashing lights this whole system can be uh, imported into a building it, remember it does have to be a big modern building it cannot be fit into a normal um, survival house as you can see this lights flashing fire warning when flashing <clears throat> now if the system's not ready as you can see it it's not beeping that light's not on, but the system is ready. It will. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you the inside view. What the system looks like. As you can see it's over here. So this is the whole entire system. As you can see right here is where you plug it in to a power grid. Right now it's just hooked up to a lever for a uh, door roll. <clears throat> Alarms is currently not ready. So this is a very easy design. Um, if this video gets to 10 likes, I will show a tutorial on how to make it. It's for all platforms as well. So this right here that pushes that up, which is a conductor block, whatever it's called. That's the main piece that I use for this whole system to work. It also uses this type of tornado siren piece right here to power it. Now it works the same, it's just not covered. So if I want to ready the system, as you can see, pistons move around, <clears throat> the lights change, the system's now readied. If there's a fire, the alarms will officially go off. Now if the system's not ready, this is what it looks like when the alarm's pulled. See a bunch of different flashing lights are going off, all kinds of stuff's going on, redstone all over. <clears throat> but nothing's going off. The lights ain't flashing. You ain't hearing no beeps. But if the system's ready, that immediately changes. The lights over here are flashing. You've got alarms going off and amazing things like that. Now, what if the alarm's turned off during a fire? Okay, let's turn off the system. The fire switch is still down it just stops making sound lights stop flashing on the sides <clears throat> no sounds going off and it's just nothing broke and setting it back to normal all the lights are still working the lights uh, alarms are going off let's turn off the alarm and turn off the system now, <clears throat> again, this is meant for bigger houses and can be expanded 100%. This is just a smaller design. Um, these are the uh, main power sources that you're most likely to have it connected to if you're, live if you're in my uh, roleplay city. Either a factory, a windmill, which is 
most likely, especially if you're just starting off, you're going to be uh, attached to cheap power sources. <clears throat> Solar farms and a personal battery or a generator, which I did an ad here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. If this video gets a 10 likes, I will show you the tutorial on how to make this amazing fire alarm system. Peace, everybody. I'm using a different recording app. I gotta there we go. press different buttons here. Woo! Woo!